Hi, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna do a full face of e.l.f. makeup dupes. The first one is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And if I'm being honest, I've used this like multiple times, but I wish it was less yellow. I feel like this looks better when you put like concealer over it because I feel like this is supposed to be underneath rather than on top of all your makeup. But it does give you like that glowy effect. But it does not have a good smell. This costs $15, and I don't know how much the Charlotte Tilbury costs because I don't have money enough for that, but I do have enough money for the dupes. So that's amazing. The next is eyebrows and I actually do have the original one for this one. I feel like this e.l.f. instant brow pencil and this benefit precise my brow pencil are the same thing besides the fact that this one is thicker and it looks nicer. Look, look at the little thing versus the one over here. Oops, wrong one. This one is so tiny that I feel like it could break any second. My best friend got me this and she got it for like free because she bought it with something else. But look how small it is compared to this one. I like this one because it makes my brows look so nice. Plus, it comes with a spoolie. This one comes with a spoolie too. But I just like this one because I can get like an orange one that can actually go for my brows. Because considering I have very light hair, I need brow pencil that's good for like light hair. But this one's very good because it's smooth and it feels like very smooth. Like you don't have to actually press on it like the other one. The other one you have to like actually press on it. But this one you can do little swipes and it looks nice as well. The sad part is my spoolie did break on this one, so I'm gonna have to use the spoolie on this. This one instead but it's fine like my brows look so good as somebody with no brow i need to look for like a brow pencil that works nice with my eyebrow this next one it looks like it could be for a dupe for the chanel bronzer this is the elf putty bronzer in shade does that say honey drip it only has the small name some of them have names underneath but this one has the name on the side and you can't even see the name but i'm just gonna try it out i've tried this one out but i tried a purple one but this one is like a very new one as you can see i'm just gonna use my beauty blender because i don't actually know how you're supposed to apply this you know what Maybe I'll grab a brush to apply it. So like maybe I'll like rape it off there. All right, I'm gonna use my finger and just do like a swipe. I like sticks better because it's so much better, but I didn't have a stick, but I did, but you're gonna see why I didn't buy the stick. I feel like I have to warm it up with my fingers, but it's fine. Then I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to mix it out and let's see how it blends. Oh, I like how it blends. It's a very smooth blend. Like you can't see the harsh line on my forehead, which I love. Oh wait, that gave me the perfect sun-kissed look that I love. Yeah, that looks like I went out in the sun. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's so good. Plus the Chanel one is like 50 bucks and this one's like six dollars, but it's so much better because you know what? Never mind. I feel like you can get the Chanel one because it's bigger, but it's also just you're paying for the price rather than the thing rather than this one that is mostly filled and the other one the bottom is like I've seen James Charles use it and the bottom looks like it's very empty. The next one is this elf blush and it's a dupe for the rare beauty blush. This one is in shade very well. I didn't know it was gonna be a more of a pink color. It's more like a purple shade. I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like it's very pretty. I actually do have like the rare beauty dupe that like the actual rare dupe beauty dupe it's called a lake rim beauty one this is how it looks and this is one now we're gonna try it out i was going to get an orange one but then i saw this one i was like you know what i want a more purpley shade so i'm just gonna put a tiny dot there you go and i know it looks like too little but i've seen videos where it's like too much there you go we're gonna see how good that is i'm just gonna blend it with my finger before i blend it oh wow you see i put like a tiny dot and it's so big oh wow i don't know why but it's kind of looking like pimples on my face i'm gonna use a brush instead it looks like kool-aid but i actually like it okay a little bit can go a long way. I feel like this is gonna last because of how little I'm going to use. Like you see, oh my god. Ah, oh wow, I put way too much. You know the good part is I like a lot of blush, but I feel like this is like going too crazy with it. Did you guys see how little I put on? I feel like I have to put some on my hand and then put it on my face. But I usually put blushes like straight on my face and I look, oh, I look like I have a disease on my face or something. I'm gonna blend the rest on my forehead and maybe it'll make me look more bronzy. All right, you know what? It looked more pink on camera rather than it does in real life or like in real person. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get, I'm not gonna lie. But the next one is highlighter. This is also a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I'm not gonna lie, look how small it is. This was $9. It looks big camera, but in person it's so small. The thing I hate about these applicators and the reason why I didn't buy the other contour is because look how nasty the applicator is. This is like so messy. But let's squeeze it out. That's also really disgusting. I Did you guys hear the little poof it made? I'm just going to put it on with my finger. I bought this in shade Tube Beauty Eliminator. That's what it says in the back. You can't... Am I the only one that doesn't see that highlight? There you go. I feel like I want to apply this with my hands rather than with the thing. Because like I said, that looks like... It looks nasty. It looks like it's going to get like a disease on my face. I just don't like the applicator. 
All right, I don't know why it looks like that. I'm just gonna blend it out with my brush, like mix it in with the blush because for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's the fact that it's more of a gold color. I feel like I look more glam than I do like soft because my normal makeup is very soft. So this looks like it's very out. Not saying it's not good, it's cute, it's nice. It just feels like I need to blend and actually put some eyeshadow, but there's no eyeshadow here. Like this looks like a full beat for some reason. Don't know why. The next product, I'm going to curl my lashes before I show you what the next product is. This next product is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. This is a dupe for the, let me see on my phone because I wrote it on my phone. This is a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I'm just gonna try it, this is how it looks. I have a Lash It Loud Mascara which looks like this. Give me one second, let me look for it. The Lash It Loud one looks like this and then the lash and raw looks like this not saying this is the dupe this is just like the dupe but i'm showing you it because it has kind of the same name but let's see the bristles oh they're tiny bristles i like it when a mascara has small bristles because it gets in every single lash oh wow i feel like i can get in the corner lashes without needing to actually push it down there does it dry quickly let's see i'm gonna curl my lashes after mascara because i always do that enters no it did not dry too quickly i'm gonna put another coat just so you can see actually see them Okay, you know what? I actually like that. Oh my god, why do I kind of look like a Barbie? I think my blush is too pink. It's fine. I like it. I like the blush. It looks nice. I'm being dramatic. It looks cute. The next and last one is the Elf Hydrating Core Lip Shine. This is a dupe for the Clinique Black Cherry Lip Thing. But look how cute it is. It has like a little heart in the middle. Like, oh my god. I love it when it has that thing. Like, it's so cute when it has designs in the front. But let's try it. I don't usually get like purple colors. So let's see how it looks on me. Oh wow. It smells nice. You know what? I can't decide if it looks good on me or if it looks bad on me. Maybe, maybe my blush is too pink and it looks bad. Give me a second. Let me put the lighting down. Okay, this is the makeup all complete. I think the thing that's throwing me off is the fact that my brows are too dark, but that's my fault because I ended up dyeing them yesterday and I haven't like actually showered in order to actually take off the hair dye. But in my opinion, I think it looks good. I think I look amazing. I think the lip is 10 out of 10. I think the blush, wow, that, I think that was my favorite because of how pigmented it was. Did you guys see how? How tiny that dot was and how much it went like I feel like I look like a peach and I feel like the bronzer or the contour did such a good job because I feel like I went outside and I got tanned in all the right places like are you kidding me like look how look cute it looks the only thing I didn't like was the highlighter and the reason why I don't like the highlighter is because of the little sponge I just feel like it's nasty in order to put it in your face like every five seconds but yeah this is the full face of makeup all complete thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it make sure to like subscribe and comment what kind of videos you guys want to see next I recommend all these products because they're all so good and I'm not saying that just because not sponsored I don't get paid for any of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed if I were to recommend you just one product It would 100% be the blush because it's so good and I 100% recommend it. Bye